Namaste and welcome to React Bits. In this part 3 of Flutter Calendar tutorial, we will learn how to display events from Firestore database in our calendar application. In order to continue with this tutorial, I have modified the project a little bit. So what I have done is first I have created a Firebase project. In there I have initialized Cloud Firestore database and I have added Google services.json and I have added quite a few files like event model and some pages to add events and view events. Also in povispec.ml I have added Cloud Firestore plugin and Firebase helpers package to make it easier to do Firestore queries. To start with this tutorial, you'll find the code in part 3 branch of Flutter Calendar repository in my GitHub. The link will be provided in the description below. And the final code for this tutorial will be found at part 3 final branch. So let us get started. Also, if you don't know how to integrate Firebase in your project, please find the link to my Firebase Firestore crude tutorial so that you'll understand the process of integration of Firestore and adding and deleting items from Firestore database. So first I'll show what is happening here few things. So if I do plus, I'll go to add event page. So I can keep the event title as Flutter Bootcamp. Let's keep the simple description. Flutter Beginner Bootcamp. Let's set the date for let's say 18th. And let's save our event. So if we check the Firestore, we now have two events Flutter Conference that I added previously and Flutter Beginner Bootcamp. All right. Now the challenge is to display those events in our calendar app. Let us get started. To get events to make it easier to get data from Firestore, I have created this event Firestore service. In here, I have initialized a database service as that uses event model as its data type. And this database service is from Firebase helpers package. So this will help us do queries easy, easily. So in add event page, if you go down to save, save event, saving an event is simply as event DBS, that is the event database service I created, dot create item and pass in the event model. Okay, this will create the item in Firestore database. So in order to display our events, for now, we'll just use a stream builder. Okay. Let me zoom in the code a little bit. Okay. First thing I'll do is control dot wrap this single child scroll view with a stream builder. And our stream builder will have the type of list of event model. I need to import this event model. Okay. Next, our stream will be from our event DBS, event DBS dot stream list. So stream list function will load all the data from the specified collection and stream it. Okay. 
So now, in here, what we have to do is, we check whether or not our snapshot has data. If has data. So if the snapshot ha has the data and the data is a list of events and it's not empty, then we need to initialize these events so that our calendar will highlight days with events. So then event model all events equals snapshot dot data. Next we check if all events dot is not empty. So if it's not empty then what we will do is we need to initialize our events as all events. However, our events that is accepted by table calendar is in the format of map date time and list of events. So what we need to do is we need to convert these all events. We need to group it by days. So to do that, I'll create another function group group events and I'll pass in all events. So this group events when passed in all events, it should return the map of list dynamic. So let's create that function map date time list dynamic group events group events list of events. All right. Now what we need to do is we need to look through these events for each event in here let us make make an empty map then first event date should be normalized to do that we'll create a new date time equals to event dot event date dot year event date dot month event date dot day and hour 12. This is to sync with the calendar event calendar selected days. So whenever we select a day in calendar, it is normalized as year, month, day and hour 12. Next, what we'll do is if data date equals null, then we need to initialize that as data date equals empty list then data date dot add event so on that day we'll add an event okay so this is events sorry so this should call the group events And this should return a data. So that returned is saved in this events. Let me save it now. So I saved and if I see here, I see there are two events for this date. And when I select this date, I'll see the list of events on that day. Okay. So let me add, let me check if I'm correct. So April 16, Flutter Beginner Bootcamp, April 16. Okay, I think I have some error in add event page. Let me fix that, add event page. 
event date is date time dot now however this should be event date okay now let me add new event let's say classes let's make it 18 okay let's save it okay description is required just make it flutter classes and save so now 18 has one event 16 has two event if i select 18 i'll get the events okay. so also one place i have made modification in main.dart is whenever event is selected we get a selected event and selected event is now list of event model not the string as in our previous tutorial so we'll display the event dot title and when we tap the event we can go to the event details page so if i tap the events i'll see the event details we can again we can add few more like let's say for 15 test event save so 15 has one so this is how easy it is to display events from firestore in our calendar application hope you like the video please subscribe hit the bell button share the video like the video thank you everyone see you again